Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming, first of all. Uh, I'm here to say a few words about graphene and the work we do in our group. Well, what's graphene? It's difficult these days not to have an idea of what's graphene because it's even on the TV, but anyway, I show a brief history of, the, of, of this material. It's one of the few bidimensional crystals that, that we know. Uh, well, it's a one monolayer of uh, material is made by hexagonal lattice of carbon and it has uh, very interesting uh, properties which can lead to the applications. It was first isolated by Andre Gaiman and Konstantin Novoselov, which they won a Nobel Prize for that, so it's not a small thing. And well, one of the methods uh, to graphene is this, uh, mechanical exfoliation, which was um, the method that they used and chemical vapor deposition, which is the most common and the best results one. And th this is what we do in our group. So what makes graphene interesting for, for physics? Uh, one of the things is electrical properties, because it's, well, it's very, very conductive. It's 100 one times more conductive than copper. And mechanically, well, this is the strongest one, the strongest materials in the world. It's 300 times stronger than steel, and it's harder than diamond, and it's even super flexible. And well, in the optical part is very interesting too because only 2.3% of the light is absorbed by this material, so it's almost transparent by, to the visible light. Well, and at least but not the least, there's the energetic uh, well, applications because the supercapacitor will be, the, will be the, the first application of graphene for sure. And this is the, uh, the work we do in, in our group, which is a 20 years old group uh, which work in amorphous materials and nanostructures, and in the UV we're working on, on graphene. Uh, so the experimental part is done in the, in the clinical facilities of the physics faculty, so we have the uh, chemical vapor deposition reactor. Okay, so it works at extremely clean uh, pressure, which is more or less 10 to minus 5 pascal, and we use an oven to, well, to increase the temperature to 1000 degrees, which is the minimum amount of temperature to grow to break the, the molecules of methane, which is the gas precursor that we use. And the substrate we use mainly copper because we use it as a catalyst. That's why we, we cannot go farther than 1000 degrees because the melting point of copper is almost there. So, and the work of my research is basically is to grow graphene, high quality graphene on, not only in copper, it's in silicon and, and sil directly on silicon because it's very important to electrical applications. Well, and the results, um, Raman spectroscopy is perhaps one of the best methods to, to, det uh, to determine or confirm the, the thickness of, the, of, the, of graphene. Uh, regarding the ratio between the 2D and the G peak, well, the D peak is a defect peak, more or less. The G is operates in every carbon form, of, and the 2D is like a second order of the D peak. So the, this ratio should be well, must be bigger than one to have a monolayer graphene. So in this case, uh, we have very good layers of, uh, of graphene. Scanning electron microscope is not the best, uh, the best method to, to see the graphene because graphene is transparent, so we cannot see it more or less. But we can see here the, well, the dendritic uh, growth of, of graphene. Well, and that's all. I would like to thank the organizers of GP, and that's all. thank you for your attention.